I mean, I gotta. I'm gonna have to get through the game. I've. Uh, it's not too bad. I think. I think this. This takes me back slightly in terms of my journey. It. I have played a bunch of ROM hacks that. You know, once I finished. Um, I don't know. You know, I did Quickie, Quickie Two, um, Akagare. Um, after that point, I didn't really want to push myself too much, so I was just playing a lot of things at that sort of level. And this is taking me back a little bit in terms of having to, like, play much longer um, to get through levels. But I do like it. It's it's a necessary step. I'm just going to get started. And we'll we'll see what happens. All right. So I've successfully killed about two minutes on my time. Let's just go. Red switch. Uh, alright. Yeah, something like that, I guess. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> we're doing stuff. Alright, cool. So we're doing a... I don't know if I cheesed something there by accident. Um... So we got this, we can... Bleep. Oh, right, I'll turn... Yeah, this this song is pretty good. I'm I'm in the bone zone right now. <laughs> I I understand that I can kill um, bullets with these things. I don't know the timing of it. Oh, what the? Ah, uh, maybe I throw that. Hmm. I gotta think about that actually. How am, I, how am I gonna get up there? Do I have to shell jump and bait the disco shell? So uh, that's pretty interesting, if that is what has to happen. Ah, no, 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 okay. <laughs> uh, this is this is not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Oh, man. All right, so we throw that up. Then there's this guy. Yeah, okay. Too busy thinking about the, uh, the flying emote thing. Alright, so I'm hmm. Maybe we'll get it on the way back and then I don't have to, I can be I can go up on the right side of the flying block. Maybe that's that could be the trick. Otherwise I'm waiting to kind of get past it. I might might save a little bit of time. Jewel Man from Mega Man 9. Was that that was uh, much later on, wasn't it? That was um that was released on the Wii if I if I am not mistaken. Yeah, that's that's all right. And that goes up. Get a little bit of a delay on that so I can get past the block. Uh, and then there's there's more. Uh, I can see why the boomerang stuff is is tricky. It's, there's such awkward distances. Um, at least it feels that way right now. I'm sure I'll work out a rhythm. I don't know how I was able to throw it up all the way against the wall the first time. Obviously, that's uh, that doesn't work. Okay. Well, oh, that could be a one bounce. Am I a bad enough dude to do this first bounce? Well, that was close, but then what the hell am I supposed to do after that? That's uh, a quick drop, eh? Hmm. I mean, I haven't had enough attempts that I feel like I've got any sort of system just yet. Okay. Oh! Oh, they, they changed by themselves. Okay. Fantastic. That explains why that uh, that area looked really weird. Because you've got those exact blocks um, right here, and uh, and you manually change them. It's nothing on screen that's that's showing me that they're supposed to be changing by themselves. It wouldn't be a Kaizo game if there wasn't um, hidden information behind a death wall. Uh, I just know that that's uh, that would not be my philosophy. Oh. 
One of the things that was annoying me when I was playing through Dancer, like getting a bit more through on the other system today, they have a there's a spike uh, a spike reskin. Um, I can't really verbally describe it, but it's a lot it's a lot thinner. It's less spike shaped. It's more of like a like a sword shape, and uh, and that sucks. You can't you're dying in thin air all the time. Oh, that's too late. Um, so that's just a, a thing that I was thinking about. There's a rare situation where the hitbox is actually um, bigger than the visible object. Oh, uh, what joystick? Um, that's a good question. It's a, a Super Nintendo shaped controller by a company called 8-Bit-Do. 8-B-I-T-D-O. I don't know if that's going to help you. Um, but I've had to do a lot of work to get it to be usable. The D-pad was not great. Um, and I had to swap the buttons out for the, the rounded um, ones. So, what now? A block snake. How will I die? Oh, there was a pipe! There was a pipe right there! Oh no! That was probably the end pipe, right? Oh well. <laughs> Better luck next time. The sound, the sound, it feels like it's out of sync. But I had to cover a lot of the contacts on the circuit board with some captain tape, like some uh, insulating tape to stop rights and ups from mixing, essentially. Yeah, I saw some guy on a, on a Reddit post did it with electrical tape and you know, I, I just tried it with, um, with the thinnest tape I had. I think I stole the buttons from a bootleg, uh, like Wii SNES classic controller. Oh, so you can't. All right. I I'm finding it so hard to wrap my head around those friggin' switch blocks. I don't know what it is. I I think maybe maybe I'm starting to have dementia is starting to happen, and there are things that are easy to understand that I just can't get my head around. Sometimes I know that there's a way to think about it. But it's so hard. I have to use so much energy. Uh, I will be using a Super Nintendo controller at some point, like an actual one. I've got a couple of ones that I really like that are, you know, your regular Super Nintendo console controller. Um, yeah, so that's that's the plan. Um, but I need to order some uh, some things. I've got to get a couple of. Oh, just one. I think I've already got uh, an Arduino floating around, but I need a second one. Because what I want to do is have... Uh, I'll use one of them just as a USB encoder for this system. Uh, and the other one's going to be the Nintendo Spy um, thing, so that I can uh, I can get an input display working for this. Yet yeah, they are expensive. And I will let you... I'll... I'll, I'll didn't pay that much money to not brag about it, but I do own an SD2 SNES Pro downstairs on my actual Super Nintendo. Um, it was very expensive in Australia. It is about $300, which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But I wasn't sure about all the ones on AliExpress, and I didn't want to sink money into a flash cart that was going to be total trash. <laughs> uh, 
and I had some money floating around. It was a it was a good time in my life when I had money floating around. Um, so I did I did that. I've also got an um, EverDrive X7 for the Nintendo 64. I've got a Mega EverDrive, a Mega, an old um, Mega EverDrive, if I could actually say it correctly. Um, like a V3, I think, that I picked up off someone that was dumping it because I don't actually care that much about my um, Genesis at all. I just wanted one. Um, so I've got a few EverDrives in the collection. But in retrospect, I hear good things about the cheap ones on AliExpress. They've got some decent ones nowadays. I can't personally vouch for them and a lot of people will get very mad if you buy them because you're not supporting the people that uh, use their own personal time and money to come up with these designs um, all by themselves. You're just paying uh, some factory to pump them out um, and make profit off someone else's actual work. The EverDrives are very expensive. They do have some fancy hardware in them. But most importantly, a lot of uh, a lot of work has gone into them by people who care about this sort of stuff. Uh, original NES, yes, I have. So here's the fun thing: we've got a we've got a Russian friend in here, maybe still, I don't know. Um, I ordered an EverDrive N8, which is the Famicom version. Alexei, hello. Uh, you are still in here, after all. So I ordered a Famicom N8, so the NES EverDrive, but for the Famicom, um, back in May. Um, I got it off, uh, you know, straight from the source. It ships from the Ukraine because that's where the creator uh, lives, I assume. Um, but COVID happened, and the shipping routes uh, messed up almost as soon as I decided to press the button to order it. And so, it uh, sat, it, it tried to go to Australia, um, and then, uh, you know, for, so it took like three months for it to get to Australia, and then get um, rejected, because we weren't accepting, like, stuff for a while, it just didn't clear customs. It got sent back to them, and they're sending it out again, because the shipping routes have opened back up again. So maybe one day, maybe one day, I'll have a flash cart for my um, Famicom AV. But for now, you know, I've got Mario 1, I've got Mario 3. What more do I need? Maybe DuckTales. Maybe I'll just buy the Jap version of DuckTales uh, while I wait for my flash cart to arrive. I could just play it on, on the system I'm using now. I could play it on the FPGA, it runs great. Um, I can play it on the EverDrive 64. It has an NES emulator built in. The input lag's bad, but it's it's quite a novelty that you can run NES games on a Nintendo 64 with the flash cart. Um, right, so, I have the grey box one. Um, I, I don't plan on using it. It does exist, and I've got a bunch of the 72-pin cartridges. Um, that, you know, the big ones, the regular sort of cartridges for that, um, but uh, I have I have a little bit of a setup downstairs where I run all the all the cool kid stuff where you get the RGB videos and all that sort of stuff. Um, and so I picked up a, an AV Famicom, which is the later model, the one that came out in like 93, 95, like way, yeah it would have been probably 93 I guess was after the Super Nintendo came out. So it's, um, if you just search AV Famicom, um, you'll see. It's like the top loader you guys got, but doesn't have like that weird rounded bump at the top and it actually has like an AV port. Um, so you can mod it to get proper video out of it. Um, like proper RGB or S video or whatever. Um, and still use the standard Nintendo multi out without having to do any kind of case tooling. So I picked up one of those. Since I haven't got my flash cart, I haven't bothered to go and install the um, install the mod kit yet, so that's something I've been waiting on. Uh, so anyway, that's that's a lot of words to say. I'm a nerd that had too much disposable money. 
I have all those systems that you listed except a GameCube. I don't see, for me personally, I don't see a need to own a GameCube. If you could convince me otherwise, then maybe I'd, uh, I'd think about it one day. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way the Wii runs GameCube stuff. And with the Wii, you know, you don't get the cool GameCube, you know, BIOS boot sort of animation. That would be kind of cool, I guess. You, know, you don't get the GBA player uh, attachment. And that could be cool. Oh, what am I... I'm rushing this so much. I was just talking about how I might uh, stop soon, like have a, a short break, um, just to kind of re uh, refocus, grab something to drink, uh, you know, wash my hands, things that help me. Okay, so the problem I was having with that. Um, I think I was just full jumping straight up. That was mostly a full jump, but with a re-grab at the top. I don't know if that was the... Anyway, enough talking. <sighs> what the hell am I going to do to get past this guy? I don't know if he jumps. I mean, how hard could it be? I, j I jump past the other one all the time. Ah, oh, is it after the second one? Felt like there was a gap there. And I don't think he jumped. This isn't a Bowser fight. I don't know if I if I like playing this game. I'm just thinking about it now. This is you know actually I like the game. I think the problem is I don't like playing it for you for you guys. I feel bad that you have to watch so many fails all the time. Because this is the sort of thing where I I happily sit here and I'll do this for hours upon hours every single night and this is what it's going to look like. Um, and that's what I did for you know, a long time before I decided, hey, I'll make a Twitch account and just hang out and see if people like it. But I think it's really changed the way that I enjoy these games. It's, um, I don't know. I think it's a mixed bag here. the troll. How am I going to get epically trolled? Yeah, f*** you. And a yump. We did it. That's, um, that worked last level. It's just, um, just go. Just do it fast. I hope, I mean, at some point he's going to switch that up. He's going to switch it up, and going fast will be bad, and I'll be upset. But, two for two. Went fast here, it worked. We went fast here, it worked. Alright, that, um, I deserve a break. I need one. I'm, uh, I'm falling apart.